Line up for excitement, get ready for fun. There'll be chills and thrills aplenty before the day is done. Okay, let's make things a little more interesting. I'm going to score this point with my eyes closed. Aw, uh, no way. Um, it's a tie game. Are you sure about this? Relax, Freddy, it's in the bag. Or should I say the net? This, I've got to see. I'd like to see it too, but I've got to close my eyes. <laughs> Told I you knew so. it. Oh, so close, brother. <laughs> the wind must have caught it. Huh, the wind. Right. Hello, cubs. Hi, Mrs. Bear. Hi, Hi Mama. Mama. I have a surprise for all of you. Look what they're giving out of the supermarket. Free passes to Fun Park. Fun Park? Wow! Really? Yay! All right! Have you seen the Fun Park commercial? It looks awesome! Bear State's biggest family park! Over 40 rides to spin your insides! Are we really going to go there, Mama? Well, I'd like you to... You bet we're going! I haven't been there since I was a cub! What do you remember best about it, Papa? Oh, that's a tough one. But I think I'd have to say it was either the gyro or the super wings. Those sound like great rides. Rides? <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about things to eat. Mm. <laughs> Fun Park has foods from every country you can think of. Mm. <laughs> and I intend to go on a world tour, let me tell you. I can't wait to ride the paddle boats, Lizzie. And the merry-go-round. Oh, I need more thrills than that. Me too. I want to drive the bumper cars. Don't forget about the Thunderbolt roller coaster, Freddy. It has a triple loop the loop. I don't think I'm ready to go on something like that. Uh uh. Too scary. The Thunderbolt is nothing for a cub like me. I could do the whole ride with my arms up like this and a big smile on my face. Now, brother, nobody likes to listen to that kind of boastful talk. <laughs> you should have heard him bragging about shooting the basketball with his eyes closed, Mama. Oh? Then he missed by a mile. <laughs> you see? It's easy to boast. It's not so easy when you have to admit you can't do the big things you boasted about. So you shouldn't brag about stuff you've never done before. Okay. I'll brag about it after then. <laughs> after the ride or after you've gotten sick to your stomach. <laughs> ha ha. I rode the Thunderbolt when I was a cub. Walked away with my head held high. And if my son's made of the same stuff as his papa, then he'll do just fine. Thank you, Papa. We'll conquer that coaster together, right, brother? You know it, Freddy. I'll be with you every loop the loop of the way, boys. Oh, dear. Now, Papa, we just got here. Don't spill anything on your nice, clean shirt. Don't fret, dear. That's what coveralls are for. Mm. <laughs> this is the best chop suey I've ever had. Anyone want to try some? No, no, thank you. All right, but you don't know what you're missing. I know what I'm missing, Papa. The rides. Well, what ride should we go on first? The Thunderbolt! <laughs> we have a winner. Uh, don't worry, girls. You get to pick the next ride. Now, come on. Let's go conquer that Thunderbolt. <gasps> I've never seen anything so... so big. Or so fast. Look at that thing go! 
<laughs> There's certainly a lot of screaming going on for folks who are supposed to be enjoying themselves. Well, what are you waiting for, you guys? Get it over with so Lizzie and I can go on our rides. Well, boys, shall we get in line? Uh, uh, gee, Papa, that lineup looks pretty long right now. He's right. We'll come back later. Come on, let's go! Fine with me. The Thunderbolt's not going anywhere. Shish kebabs. <laughs> you boys go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Wait up, Mama! Hey, Freddy and I are only on the merry-go-round to get warmed up for the real rides. We know. <laughs> you told us already. Oh, hi, Mama. Hi, Papa. Hello, sweetheart. Whew. This is one hot taco. <laughs> I told you to go easy on those jalapeno peppers. Any vegetable that makes you sweat this much has got to be good for you. Mm. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> Ha-ha! Got it! Look, I got the brass ring! Woohoo! Yay! Yay! Here you go, brother! You get a free ride! Whoa! Whoa! Are you all right? Me? I'm fine. This, this ride is kind of boring, that's all. Here, you can have this. Thanks! Okay, boys. Let's head for the Thunderbolt. Uh, but, but it's way over at the other end, and, and we're way over here at this end. Why don't we do things around here first? Sure, okay with me. I'm in no hurry. So what should we do next? I know just the thing. Bratwurst on a bun. Follow me. Great. Oh, bratwurst on a bun? Uh, not after that carousel. Well, fancy meeting you here. We're having a great time, aren't we, Lizzie? Uh-huh. We made balloon animals at the craft show. And we went to the petting zoo. We were laughing so hard on the trampoline, my face hurts. <laughs> <laughs> How did you boys make out on the Thunderbolt? We're going on that next. But you can't take food on the ride, and Brother hasn't finished his pizza yet. I'm working on it. You've been nibbling on that pizza slice for almost an hour. I'm not hungry, I guess. Here, I'll finish it off for you. Now, Papa, you really should stop eating so much. Nonsense. Besides, look how thin I am. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. I want to see you guys ride the Thunderbolt. Me too. Oh. Why did I have to brag about riding that thing? Well, son, the big moment is finally here. And I have to say, sharing your excitement about riding the Thunderbolt makes me feel like a cub again. <laughs> That's great, Papa. Here it comes! Whoa! The whole world is spinning! Oh, yeah! Never again! I tell you, my legs are like jelly! Can I open my eyes now? Yeah. That's scary. Now, the front seat is the best place to be on this ride. Get in. What's wrong, brother? Come on, son. It's going to be the ride of your life. I can't do it. I can't get on. Well, sure you can. I'll slide over a little more. Look, lots of room. I mean, I'm too scared to ride the Thunderbolt. You are? The thought of having to ride the Thunderbolt is spoiling my whole day. I don't really want to go on it either. Really? Why didn't you tell me? I guess because I kind of made a big deal about riding on it too. Hmm. I'm proud of you boys. It takes a lot of courage to speak up and admit when you're not ready to do something. Oh! There he goes. Whoa! <laughs> Have fun, Papa. <laughs> I don't remember it being this high up. Where did Papa go? 
She's on the Thunderbolt. How come you aren't? I decided I wasn't ready yet. Same here. You said you were going to do it with your arms up in the air and a smile on your face. I know, I know. I got a little carried away. I sure won't do that again. Oh, I hope Papa's going to be all right. Freddy, we made the right decision. I was thinking the same thing, brother. Steady, dear. You're doing fine. Just put one foot in front of the other. I can't believe I rode the Thunderbolt. Freddy, if you hear me bragging about stuff again, remind me about what happened today, okay? <laughs> okay, I will. And someday, when I am ready to ride the Thunderbolt, remind me about something, too. What's that? Not to go on a ride with a full stomach. Oh. <laughs> That's for sure. Come on, Freddy, let's go on the bumper cars. You said it. Here's your pizza, Papa. Oh, maybe later, sweetheart. Do you want to go on the bumper cars with us? I think Papa's been on enough rides today. Nonsense. Oh, uh, like I said, maybe later, sweetheart. Oh. When you invite guests to a fresh fish dinner, it's your guests, not you, who should come out the winner. There's only one way to make one of my prize-winning pies, and that's to start off with the freshest ingredients. Plump, juicy, and fresh. Gotta use fresh worms to catch fresh fish. Well, it looks like everything's ready for Gran and Gramps' special wedding anniversary dinner. Are Gran and Gramps getting married again? Oh, no, sweetie. A wedding anniversary is like a birthday. This year it's an extra special celebration because they've been married for such a long time. That's why we're cooking up Gramps' favorite, fresh-caught fish. And not just any fresh-caught fish, but a prize-winning fresh-caught fish. Caught by none other than yours truly. And to top it off for dessert, I'm making Gran's favorite bumbleberry pie. Oh, we can't forget the ladder. Right outside, Mama. Good, because the very best berries grow right at the top of the bush. And if we don't get the best ones, we can't make your prize-winning pie. <laughs> That's right. Now, Gran and Gramps are arriving right at six, so we have a lot to do. Let's go. The secret to catching a prize-winning fish starts with finding the perfect fishing spot and having a prize-winning helper. Hey, that's me. <laughs> you betcha. How can you tell if this is the perfect fishing spot, Papa? Smells right. Hmm, looks right. Sounds right. But is it perfect? <laughs> we won't know until we catch a fish. <laughs> oh, Papa. Now, you have to remember to stand in just the right spot. Cast the line in nice and easy. <gasps> we got one! We got one! Hey, <laughs> what do you know? Uh, now we can't be too hasty. Let it run, then reel it in. Uh, two hands now. We're talking prize winner here. Oh boy, let's hurry home and cook it up. No, I'm afraid this one's going back. It's too small. But it looked big enough to me. Not big enough to make Gran and Gramps' dinner an extra special dinner they'll never forget. Besides, your prize-winning papa can do better than that. Because you have a prize-winning helper, right? <laughs> you betcha. Now let's go find a different spot. Hold on tight. I have to reach. Ugh! 
How much better are the berries way up there, Mama? <laughs> the ones down here are good enough for Little Lady. But it's not her special dinner. Gran and Gramps deserve the best. <laughs> I bet they'd like your honey cake just as much. Perhaps, but I didn't win three blue ribbons for my honey cake. Oops! Look out! Mmm, mmm. <laughs> they are better at the top, little lady. <laughs> Easy. Let's run. Then reel it in. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Bigger than the last one. Bigger than the last one. A real prize winner, Papa. Not quite. Not big enough. Not big enough for a prize-winning fisherman. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. We'll find that whopper yet. I don't care if my friends see me baking pies. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm not sure I want them to see me doing this. I look silly. But honey, you're keeping the bees away. And remember, you're being silly for a very special couple. You stay right there, little lady. Almost done. Good. Then we can get cooking and I can lick the spoons. Just as soon as we get some fresh churned butter, hand milled flour, and hand picked farm fresh eggs from Farmer Ben. Gran and Gramps are worth it. That's my kind of fish! It must be a real prize-winning whopper, huh, Papa? Oh, you betcha! I think this is the one! It's not even a fish. But it almost dragged me off the dock. Oh, oh, oh! It's huge, Papa! Huge! Even bigger than the other ones! Big enough for dinner and for seconds, too! Yep, but... Oh, it got away. <laughs> oh, that's okay. It was big enough for seconds, but not big enough to have leftovers for Gran and Gramps to take home. Oh, your papa can do better. Okay, but we're running out of time. Well then, we'd better get cracking. I never knew making a pie was so much work. I just hope I don't fall asleep in the middle of Gran and Gramps' dinner. If you do, you'll miss dessert. Mmm, mmm. Smells so good, it's gonna be hard to wait for dessert time. Well, the rest of the cleaning we still have to do should help take your mind off it. Oh! Oh! Little lady! How could you? Uh, I guess little lady couldn't wait. Bad dog, little lady. All that work for nothing. You've just ruined Gran and Gramps' special dinner. I don't think they'll mind too much if they don't have a prize-winning pie for dinner, Mama. But it's their special dinner. Well, it's their anniversary that makes the dinner special, isn't it? I know they'd love whatever you made for them. You know something? You're absolutely right. I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry for barking at you, little lady. It's okay. I'm sure she'll help us clean it up, won't you, girl? If there's not a prize-winning fish in here, why, I'll eat my hat. I sure hope there's a prize-winning fish in here. Papa, how do we find just the right spot to stand in in a boat? I don't think we have to worry about that here. 
right. You didn't even have to use your fishing rod. <laughs> Not only that, this one's a prize winner if I've ever seen one. Huh? <laughs> and so's that one. And I don't even need my net. We have enough here for the whole neighborhood to take some home. <laughs> <laughs> um, Papa, we're sinking. Uh-oh. Oh, the boat's too heavy. Hurry! Let's throw them back. Hey, we're... Uh, we're rising up. Oh, no wonder they're jumping in. They're trying to get away from the net. Oh, let me guess. All these fish belong to you. Well, not me personally, but the company we work for. <laughs> Including that one. Sorry, mister. We'll put your boat back in the water for you. Hmm, maybe we should have kept one of the other fish we caught before. But I wanted a real prize winner. But, Papa, we weren't catching a fish to win a prize. We were catching a fish to eat for dinner. I don't think Gran and Gramps need a whale. Yeah, but it's supposed to be a special dinner. It's not special because of what we're going to eat. It's special because it's Gran and Gramps' wedding birthday. Yes, but, I mean, well... Hmm... You're absolutely right. I guess I was thinking more about the prize-winning fishermen than about Gran and Gramps. Well, what do we do now? I think I just might know where the perfect fishing spot is. <laughs> perfect. And this fishing spot is right around the corner. Is that fish good, Papa? They're all good. Because as my little cub taught me... It's not the meal you eat. It's who you share it with. That's what makes any dinner special. So, what do you think? What do you mean, sister? She means, did you like your special dinner? It was the best, most delicious dinner ever. Just like the one last year, and the one the year before that. But you know what makes it really special? The people you share it with. <laughs> then I guess you do know. And we'll drink to that. Happy anniversary, Gran and Gramps. <laughs> <laughs>